Nabila, Arya, and Harshit. Harshit, you are not there, okay? Uh, I know. But don't worry about it. Uh, we will do everything from start for the convex mirror as well, okay? Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, I'm, you are audible here. Yes, Nabila, and Arya, and Harshit, is this clear? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's revisit a little bit of uh, what we have done so far. Okay, so we have already done the applications of conve concave mirror. So concave mirror are used as shaving mirrors to see the large image of the face, right? And uh, concave mirrors are used by dentists to see the large images of the teeth. Okay. And uh, concave mirror are used as the reflector in torches, vehicles, headlights. To get a powerful parallel beam of light. Right? Correct or not? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Next is concave mirrors are used to focus the sunlight uh, to basically heat up the solar furnaces. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So basically, so uh, Harshit, only the, this topic is only left for you. So I will take this thing, uh, that topic in the, uh, in the extra class of yours. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, sir. Huh. Just focus in this class that I'm teaching you right now. So, convex mirror is called diverging mirror. So, can anybody tell me why it is called diverging? So, because it reflected the light which is coming. The, uh, the, ref, uh, the reflection is happening at the concave mirror as well. Why I'm saying that? Why is it called diverging mirror? Diverging mirror. Because the rays separate. Okay. Same uh, point on the back side. Uh, mm -hmm. achha, achha, one by one, one by one. Nabila said something. Nabila, batao, then Harshit, your turn. Yeah, because they don't join the, they don't join each other and okay. they separate in different ways. Okay. Okay, Nabila said they don't join or basically they get separated right after some point. Okay, so Harshit, now you are saying something, tell me. Yes, sir. They do not join, but at the back side of the mirror, mm -hmm. they appear to meet. They appear to meet. <clears throat> okay, okay. Arya, what about you? Same answer. So they don't join. Yeah. So basically, con diverging means have you heard like uh, whenever you are traveling? Suppose that this is a road. Okay, this is a two-way road. Okay. So whenever you are traveling, so this is the uh, incoming, this is the outgoing. It means that you are going in this direction and it's coming from this direction, right? So what happens is that if suppose that the work is going here, so basically a kind of, if the work, work is going on this road, so a kind of uh, basically this the people who are coming, so basically they get diverged at this road for some time like this. So it's a kind of divergent, yes or no? If the yes. divergent yes. means they get spread out, diverge diverge right so you, as you can see in the picture itself when the light ray strikes the surface it get diverge it gets spread out got it yes sir it gets spread out right so that's why this is called this is called diverging mirror clear <clears throat> next sir, is uh, ha harshit sir basically kind of like होती why because you can see this thing the ray up basically are not actually intersecting but they appears to meet when they extended yes or no real image a virtual image ka concept i have told you in the first class harshit arya and nabila do you remember nabila do you know uh, what is real and virtual i think you were there in the class when you have done this topic um i came late sir, during okay, okay. the Chalo, hai, koi baat nahi. So basically, virtual images is formed when they are up, when they appears to meet, right? You can see this thing, the rays are actually not actually meeting when you expect when you extend the light ray in the backward direction, the appears to meet. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. So that's why they form virtual and erect images. Okay. Next is 
convex mirror always form diminished size images i will tell you why when i will when we will draw the you can say ray diagram i will tell you you can easily observe that thing in the ray diagram itself next thing the convex mirror has a positive focal length why positive so basically this is the pole of the mirror and the distance the measure we measure the distance with respect to pole yes or no right yes. so this is the direction of light this is the direction of light this is the direction of light so you can see this thing uh, when we go and we start from pole so we are going in this direction because image is here right or no yes, yes or no so it means that <clears throat> it will be positive right Yes, sir. Okay, so that's why we basically see this thing as this is the focal length will be positive. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, image of object distance will be negative, but the you can say the image distance and the focal length will be negative, will be positive, right? Next thing is that convex mirror provides a wide view of vision. So you can see this thing, light rays are getting spread out. It means that it will cover this distance. This whole distance will be covered when we view, when basically when we see in the mirror, it will be covered this amount of, so you can see the mirror is very small, but the wide vision that can be seen from the mirror is very wide, right? So that's why they are used in the rear view as rear view mirrors because they provide a wide range of view. Got it? Yes, sir. Any yes, doubt, sir. anybody? Nabila, Arya, and Harshit, is this clear to all of you? Please tell me. Yeah, it's clear. Yes, Chalo, that's good. So let's understand. So let me, it's called Roy So this is positive. So this is positive. So <clears throat> let's understand the image formation. It's only two, only two cases are present in the convex mirror. Uh, this is a very simple mirror. No complications are present. So it's directly easily. Okay. So first is when the object is at infinity. When the object is infinity, this will be the case. Let me copy paste this directly so that we basically utilize the time properly. Sir? Yes, yes, sir. Sir, what is the meaning of infinity here? I didn't understand it. Infinity means the object is placed very far from the mirror. So basically, uh, infinity, we don't say it's like infinite, like it's a space. No. So we basically assume that for this, so mirrors, in this case, we, mirrors are very small. So we assume that the infinity can be assumed that the object is placed five, one meter away. So if the object has the focal length of 15 centimeter and the play, uh, object is placed at one, placed one meter away, which is 100 centimeter for this mirror. So 100 centimeters is a very great number. So that's why we can assume that the object is at infinity. Okay. So the object is formed in front of the mirror, right? In front of the? It's like, is it formed in front or is it formed back side? Is in this in this example? Um. Yeah. Yeah. In this example, you can see this is the front side of the uh, mirror, but the image is forming on the back side, which is called behind the mirror image is formed. Oh. Okay. Okay. This will be the case. Okay, simple. <clears throat> Object is placed at infinity. So ray, parallel rays will come and they will get spread out because this is the diverging mirror, right? They will strike the, uh, you can say, surface and they will get spread out. Got it? Yes, yes sir. 
Okay. Now let's, if we talk about, you can see this thing, the, if we extend these lines, you will see this thing, they appears to meet, right? If they appears to meet, it means that the point at which they intersect, they appears to meet is called, what it is called? So focus. Yes, focus. Because whenever the light, when what the point at which the first line intersect, it's called after is when the light ray are parallel, whenever, whenever, wherever they are intersecting, wherever they are basically cutting the principal axis, that point will be considered as focus. Got it? So U will be infinity. We add focus. Nature. Can anybody tell me the nature of the image? Sir, adding uh, erect. Okay, erect. So it will be virtual and erect. Okay, Nabila and Arya and Harshit. Yes, sir. Yes. Next is uh, size. Can anybody tell me the size of the image? Diminished. It will be highly diminished. The op image formed at focus will be highly diminished or of point size. Got it? Yes, sir. So, highly diminished. Point size. Bilkul point size. Hoti. Bilkul. Bohat bari. Okay. Yeah. So let me copy paste this again and let me then move forward to the second case. Second case is the only case of this. You can say uh, this will be as between infinity and pole. The object can be placed between infinity and the pole itself, right? So if I copy paste uh, this image, suppose that object is placed like this, okay. So this is, so this uh, far point is, I'm, I'm assuming this is infinity. So first ray will be parallel. Okay, Harshit, Nabila and Arya. First ray will always be parallel to the principal axis. Whenever the whenever, whenever we form the, uh, you can say. Okay, so basically we, uh, whenever the object is placed, we have to, the first ray should be parallel to the principal axis, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So it so if the first ray is parallel to the principal axis, basically it will spread out for the convex mirror. But when you extend this, it will refract. Oh, sorry, it will reflect back to the focus. Okay. Maybe just a second. So the line is extended right towards focus. Yeah. Okay. We can see this thing. So second can be taken as it will re reflect. It will strike that pole. The ray will strike at pole. If, and it with some incident angle and it would reflect back with the same angle in yes or no. Yes. Yeah, so it may, you can see this thing that, uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, so just a second. And if we extend this line here, you can see this thing. This is the intersection point of the image, of the ray, sorry. Again, so this is the intersection point. You can see this thing, the image is smaller than the object. Yes or no? Yes. 
so that's what so if the images are smaller so obviously we will say that thing that is uh, that is diminished yes yeah okay so you can see this thing so you can see this image is formed so one more thing everybody so this line so basically just a second let me raise this line and let me take an arrow line here instead of normal line like this hmm. so <clears throat> what i was saying uh huh, yes i was saying okay, if the object is if the image is smaller than the object so it will be considered as diminished yes sir right so this is the diminished thing and you can see this thing the object uh, this uh, this is infinity and this is pole so whenever wherever you place the image wherever you place the object it will be nothing but it will be behind the mirror and it will be smaller than the object got it so v so not v u is basically equals to between uh, infinity and pole V will be always equals to behind the mirror. There isn't any specific, uh, you can say location. So it will always be behind the mirror. Okay. And uh, nature, can anybody tell me the nature of the images? Virtual and direct. Virtual and direct. Very good. So diminished highly. Not highly, only diminished. और साइज होगा आपका सो कैन एन ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक कैन द नेचर ऑफ एनी केस बी वर्चुअल एंड रियल लाइक नो लाइक रियल एंड वर्चुअल नो लाइक रियल एंड इरेक्ट real and erect yes they are there are some certain conditions but that is uh, basically the very highly uh, that's a very highly standard concept so till now yes it is possible okay sir yeah so basically that can happen when you place a kind of mirror between the lenses okay sir right so this is the and arrows are very important in the ray diagram you have to remember this thing got it you should use yes, the sir. arrows got it like right. very good so yeah let's uh, so these are the two cases in this uh, you can say how mirror form basically of uh, images formed by the convex mirror okay everybody yes sir so that's good so let me paste the table of that this is the summary of the convex mirror okay i've also pasted the same thing similar to the sim like for the concave as well so this is the summary of the convex mirror got it everybody please tell me is this clear to you or not yes, yes sir any no, doubt no. so far to anybody please tell me no sir okay so okay so let's understand so let's move to the uh, your uh, mirror basically uses of convex mirror okay or applications of convex mirror
Okay, so first case to use the convex mirror is basically we use as we use these mirror as the rear view mirrors. Okay. Rear vehicles. Rear side or back side. Sir, basically the side view mirrors of the cars. Side mirrors, the mirrors that is placed inside just the uh, above the driver seat. That is also this mirror. You can see that this is the mirror. That is also a, a convex mirror. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if I basically place this thing, if I basically make a comparison of a plane mirror, like if we basically use a plane mirror in the rear view mirror, or if we use a kind of, you can say, convex mirror in place of that. So what is basically the difference? So that is the difference if we use the plane mirror or the convex mirror in place of that. You can see the, the rays are getting spreading out. So you can see this thing, they basically, you can see there, this is a wide vision. And if we basically have this thing, so this is a kind of, uh, like narrow vision, narrow field of view, and this is a wider field of view. Got it, everybody? Why do we use convex in place of uh, a plane or any mirror, other mirror? Yes, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubt? No. Chal, Second is basically convex mirrors. I used as shopping security mirror, shop security mirrors. Okay. So shop security mirrors, basically that, uh, that mirror also gives you a wide range of view. So let me give you an example of the similar thing uh, like you must have seen these things in the uh, shops as well at the entrance of the shops like right so basically that's give you that which customer is taking something or is somebody there which is stealing something or not so that's the thing that is used to prevent these things now you can see now you can, are you, now you can see this thing this mirror is giving you the whole view of the store that uh, basically this is uh, this is just this is placed in front of the uh, you can say the shopkeeper just in place just uh, uh, above the shopkeeper and just front of him and basically and it's a kind of tilted you can say position so that it can cover all the com completely uh, complete shop it can cover the complete shop got it everybody yes sir any doubt so far no, no sure Yes. Sir. Yeah. Chalo, hai. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now can anybody give me the, uh, I'm giving you one question. So please answer to me. Yes, please answer to me. Sir, can you talk on? Okay, one by one. Give me your answer one by one. Sir, can keep. Okay, let me know in the chat. Nabila, give me the sure answer. Mm, sure, sir. Okay. The correct option is this. Nobody gave me the right one. Nabila, Arya, and Harshit, I've told you that plain mirror also formed the uh, uh, virtual image every time. Whenever you uh, just stand in front of a mirror that is in your home, what kind of image is formed? Erect. Erect hoti hai, virtual hoti hai. Yes or no? Like convex yeah. mirrors, the convex mirrors also form. The, this question also told you na, that the, it doesn't matter how far you are standing. It just appears to be a virtual and erect image. So virtual and erect only can be happened in two cases. Because if, if you see this, the concave mirror, I think some who said concave mirror, Harshit, no dear. We have not studied the concave, so that's why I'm a little bit confused. Don't worry. So concave mirror always form uh, virtual images in one cases. That is when the object is placed between focus and pole. But convex mirrors always form the virtual and uh, erect image. And the plane mirror also forms the virtual and erect image when it doesn't matter irrespective of the standing of the object. Got it, everybody? Yes, sir. Any doubt so far? Yes. No. Short? Just. So that's why uh, I was saying so try to be a little bit more uh, attentive while solving these kinds of questions because they basically trick you okay so it's already said that that how far you stand from a mirror your appearance should be a play, uh, virtual and erect image right is this how uh, what appears to erect so mirror may be either uh, plane or convex right let me take yes. some more question as well Okay, one by one, please, uh, like, uh, these are five questions. Type the options in the chat one by one. Like, you have to type, like, in e uh, in only single message, type the uh, correct option that you basically got while solving this question and let me know, okay? Okay. Sir. Whatever is the answer of it, it don't, no need to mention the question number, just uh, write down the option in the single message, okay? Ashit, all the questions, mention karo aap, So that wo mujhe mistake na ho ki kaun sa correct hai, kaun sa nahi aap, like, aap ke answers mein. To isle, ek hi message mein, once solve all this question in your notebook or whatever you have right now, wahan pe note down karke, fir uske baad type kar do aap, hai? Okay, so.
Okay, Nabila. Okay, once all, um, I got the answers of all. I will... Okay, Harshit. One minute, so. She got it, Okay, Arya. Okay, let's solve it. So question is saying ki, first question is saying that image formed by a spherical mirror is virtual. Uh, spherical mirror is virtual. The mirrors can be. So let me check. Uh, Arya said B that is convex. Nabila said B that is convex. Harshit said B that is convex. Okay, Harshit. Okay, yes, it is correct. Because concave mirror all uh, form the virtual. Uh, just a second. The case was at the high school. At high school, see Hoba. Why? Let me tell you. It's not specifically in a always form. It said a spherical mirror. A virtual image can be created or formed. So a mirror can be virtual image can also be can is also formed by the concave mirror. Like. I know that is only one case, but it is not mentioning anything. So the option is given that. So a prop appropriate option will be this one. Yeah, because concave mirror always form virtual image in one case. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's why option C will be correct. Okay, whatever the position of the object, the image formed by a mirror is virtual, erect and smaller than the object. Then the mirror must be. Uh, let me check. Aapne kya kya answer diya hai? Arya said C. Uh, convex. No, sorry, ha, Arya said C, con okay, oh, sorry, convex said, or Harshit said A, plane mirror, and Nabila said D, either concave or convex. Um, it will be C. Abhi pe position ki now, in this question, position is introduced. If the position is introduced, it said that whatever the position of the object is, always the image formed by will uh, by the uh, mirror will be virtual. Okay, and erect and smaller. So smaller is only formed in the uh, convex mirror because plane mirror forms the virtual image but of the same size. Concave mirror forms the virtual image but of the greater size. Only the convex mirror is the only mirror that is for that forms the image smaller than the object. Okay. Okay, so, so Arya gave me the correct one. Harshit gave me wrong. Nabila also wrong. Okay, Arya was the only one who said the correct answer. The mirror used by the dentist to examine the teeth of a person is. So, let's see who has given the correct option. That is concave. So, uh, B that is concave. A by Arya. So, that is convex. No wrong. Harshit said A. B is A type. Chalo, koi baat nahi, koi masla nahi. Don't worry. Chike, B by uh, Nabila. Okay, so I've told you now. So this is the application of a plane uh, convey concave mirror. Here it is. The concave mirror are used by the dentist to see the large images of the teeth. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next is basically. Uh, if the image formed is is always virtual, if the image formed is always virtual, then the mirror can be. 
सो आंसर होगा कन्वेक्स और प्लेन कन्वेक्स और प्लेन बिकॉज कन्वेक्स मिनर ऑल्सो फॉर्म दर्च वर्चुअल इमेज ऑलवेज एंड प्लेन मिनर ऑल्सो फॉर्म द वर्चुअल इमेज सो लेट मी चेक हु गेव मी द करेक्ट आंसर आर्या सेट मी दिव मी करेक्ट वन हर्षित गेव मी द करेक्ट वन एंड नमीला सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट वेरी गुड कनकेव मिरर कैन नॉट बी यूज एज मैग्निफाइंग डेंटिस्ट रियर व्यू मिरर सो रियर व्यू मिरर इज नॉट द केस इन सो डी हर्षित सेट सी दैट इज रॉन्ग और नमीला सेट डी दैट इज करेक्ट Only Harshit gave me the wrong answer. So it cannot be used as a as a rear view mirror. Okay. Okay. Sir, how can you explain? It, because a concave mirror always form smaller images. Okay. I will tell you when we will study this very uh, concave mirror, na uh, Harshit in the next class. I will take the extra class. So don't worry. So in that you can in that uh, class you can observe that thing that concave mirror always forms smaller images. A maximum it can form the images that are basically you can say of the same size, right? Okay. Nabila Arya, yes or no? Got it? Or yes or no? Yes, Why sir. we cannot yes, use a concave mirror? right only it can be used as a uh, like it can uh, like only the image form that is virtual is between pole and focus for the concave mirror like in respect to like apart from that all the images will be real and inverted so if the images are real and inverted are you able to uh, basically see the traffic properly in the rear view mirror you will not be able to identify which one is closer and which one is far because it is inverted na yes or no yes sir so in the convex mirror there is an upward there is an edge uh, basically in comparison to concave mirror you can see the objects as the virtual as well as you can see a wide view of range got it yes sir any doubt so far to anybody no sir no sure no sir got it theek okay. hai so that is the difference between the concave mirror and the convex mirror okay yes sir Chalo, that's good. So in the next class, we will start the mirror formula. Okay, don't miss the class. Mirror formula is very important. I will tell you first of all. Uh, I will tell you the sign convention in the mirror formula. I'm writing the topic here. Mirror formula is the most important topic for the reflection part, and it is also the last topic of the reflection. Okay, so you don't. I uh, hope make sure that you don't miss the class. And in the mirror formula. Variety of numericals are present, and like num like every time in boards, a three marker always appears from the mirror formula. That is a very important topic. So you can see the importance that three marking that uh, out of twenty four or twenty five marks, or I think uh, twenty seven marks, the mirror formula is giving you three marks. Only a single question is giving you almost three marks. So it's almost around ten, uh, like around uh, uh, something something seven to eight percent of the total weightage. So only a single Question: Single topic is giving you three marker. It means that there is the, uh, like a ninety percent or ninety five percent are chances that the question will come from the mirror formula of three markers. It can be of two markers as well, but three markers are the most probable, uh, probable questions for the mirror formula. Okay, so that's why so make sure don't miss the class. Yeah. So when it okay. is. um uh, i'm i'm not sure dear i just uh, like i don't like I, they will let you know don't worry uh, whenever i will have i will be having a free uh, you can say a slot i will take your extra class as well and uh, in the next class i'm not sure when will be the next class i will they will let you know you will get the you can say remainder for that okay acha ek question aur hai just a second okay just a moment let me Take the screenshot of this question.
इसी क्वेश्चन में हाइड कर लेते हैं जरा ये क्वेश्चन बताओ आप लोग मुझे So we have to give the answer. Uh -huh. You have to tell the answer. So chat. Ah, uh, chat. Me. Okay, Nabila. There is shit. Okay. Here you go. A boy is standing in front of a plane mirror, in front of a mirror that is very closed. Okay. So he finds that the image of his head is bigger than the normal and the middle part of the body is of same size and the legs are smaller than the normal. So, first of all, we will know this that we can easily identify that thing that middle part of the body is of same size. Right. So, it means that middle, same size is, so in, the, in between, plane mirror will be there, yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So it means that either the option will be A or C. Now we have to check with which one is because middle may your body is absolutely same size. So that's why we can consider these two options. They will not be the correct one. Okay. So next option we have to identify that which one should be correct. The question said the legs are smaller than the normal. Legs are smaller than the normal. Okay. And next is head is bigger. Uh, head is bigger than the actual size. Okay. So you can see this thing that had the way it is. Uh, huh. So if that head is of bigger size, so there is only possibility in the mirror that is concave because convex mirror always form smaller images than the object. So it means that the head is bigger. So it means that that can be concave. Okay, sir. Okay, yes, sir. and if the legs are smaller than the normal, so it means that the image is formed by the convex right. mirror. Because you can see this thing, if you're standing in front of a mirror and the complete image that you have got of your body is virtual. So it means that all the three mirrors, so are at as a positive, the concave mirror is at the position in which the image is formed virtual and it of higher, uh, like larger size than the object. Because only one case is present in which the virtual image, image is formed by the convex mirror, concave mirror. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So that's why C1, C will be the correct one. Who gave me the C? Does anybody give? No. Nobody gave me the C option. No worries. Chalo, koi baat nahi. Sometimes happen. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So, okay. so that's all for this class, everybody. Okay. So in the next class, we will do the, you can say, mirror formula. Okay. So till now, you have to uh, draw the, like practice the ray diagrams. Okay. So that's all. Take care and bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. So bye. Assalamu alaikum. Goodbye. Take care.
Hello, Rabbi. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alaikum salam. How are you, dear? I'm fine. Okay, that's great. Just Nabil, give me two seconds. I will start the class. <laughs> 